Hi guys, how are you doing from wherever you're watching? If you're new here, my name is Masha, my YouTuber based in Nairobi, Kenya. And to my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you for always coming back and clicking on my videos. Here is another episode of the 100 Days Challenge. On this day, I'm just taking you along on my lunch dates with my man. Hmm? My man, my man. <laughs> so come along and let's see how this day goes. We got outside and we decided, you know what, let's have a little photo session. So that we'll go feeling good, so that uh, we'll have pictures for the clothes we're wearing and also to remember this moment. So yes, we went for a photo shoot and if you want to see the pictures and more pictures, kindly follow me on Instagram at Masha Kengo. And uh, some of the pictures are here, let me attach them for you to see so that you'll also see how good we were looking and the outfit that we're wearing. We finally got to the place that uh, we were going, so let me tell you about this place. I discovered this place on a Sunday when it was just me and Kilian. I was going to town, then I felt hungry and I was looking for a good place to just chill and have Kilian eat peacefully because uh, at that time he used to fear people. He used to cry a lot around people and then I discovered this place. So the food was so good and I thought it would be so nice for Bazu to come and experience that and see if uh, it is really a good place or I was overrating it. So this was us. Here I was making my order and then Bazu also gave his order and then waited for the food to come. So I'll show you that also when the food comes. Tell me in the comment section, what do you like eating when you're eating out or at restaurants or uh, any place that you like to eat? Uh, because I usually have a problem ordering. I, I usually have a problem deciding on what I want to eat. And most of the time I usually end up eating the same thing. If you watched our video, our first video when we went to Blue Post, then you'll understand why I'm saying I usually eat the same thing. I'll just show you. So tell me, what do you like to eat? Because there are people who tell me they can't eat wet foods at restaurants. They prefer dry foods because of their own reasons. Some it's because they don't trust soups and stews at uh, restaurants and all that. I don't know, me I can eat anything, but I usually also prefer dry foods most of the time. We called the waiter again to add on some things. <laughs> we are not foodies, we just needed a good experience. But uh, yeah, we like to eat, maybe that makes us foodies, I don't know. So we're adding on some things here, and you're probably wondering why I'm not letting you listen to us. There was uh, some really nice music playing at the background, jazz, all through, and it was loud. So I d I'm just trying to avoid copyright issues because I've had to pull down videos uh, sometimes back because of the copyright claims. And I don't want them to repeatedly do that to my channel, just lest they decide to flag the channel. So we brought forth some fresh juice as starters, so we're just having the juice and catching up with Vazu as we waited on our food to be brought. There were some ladies walking around doing some checks. I don't know who they were exactly. I guess maybe they are health officials and Bazu thought they were Kanjos. I don't know. So they were walking around and it's what we were looking at and trying to guess whom they might be. So then the sponsored scam. Now we just knew that the food was about to come and we couldn't wait for the crackling. My potato wedges came. Uh, these are the burgers that we called her to add on and remove the sausages. So I had a, a beef burger. Bazu also had a beef burger. Bazu had chips masala, I had potato I just uh, sauteed in onions and uh, not sauteed in onions, potato wedges with sauteed onions. <laughs> hey, I'm learning some terms. Eh? Bazu was the one who understands these terms on the menus. I usually have to consult with him because he knows a lot about that area, I don't know. <laughs> so then we started digging in and enjoying, the food was slapping, yo, it was so good, let me not lie to you. The only thing that I didn't uh, find nice was the burger bread, the bread that um, was being used for the burgers. This is because, not that it was not good or sweet, it was very nice actually, but the problem is that the fillings were too much for it. The bread was thinner than uh, burger bread usually is, so once you try and compress it like this and then you take a bite, the bread slides or it becomes too wet until you're actually touching the juices, the cheese, and the sauces in the burger. So that was uh, not, I didn't like that. It was a bit disgusting for me. <laughs> I don't know if you understand in that sense. Not that it was disgusting, that it's bad food, but the stickiness on the hands. So I constantly had to use a serviette, but otherwise the taste was amazing. The potato wedges I highly recommend, but the burger... 
um i just didn't like that part of the bread maybe they need to change their bread but everything else on the burger was nice they um Hey, their chips masala yo so the lady comes and asks us at he, do you want mild or uh, hot or do you want and then uh, I, I bazoo said mild bazoo told me that uh, when you go to a restaurant and you don't know how hot their spice is don't ever take the hottest and he actually made a good wise decision there because the masala the chips masala that they brought and they said that it is mild it was so hot for me okay bazu can handle the spice but i could not and even for him he actually attested that this masala was hot hotter than uh, what is supposed to be called mild maybe i wouldn't even dare me i usually feel like pepper just spoils the taste of the food you are you're supposed to be enjoying the food but you're there drinking water feeling like uh, your mouth is burning uh, uh, i usually try to avoid pepper unless it's in uh, meat stew wet fried meat i usually love but in other foods no thank you <laughs> So we continued enjoying our food, telling each other the silly stories that lovers tell each other. <laughs> and then uh, it was actually just generally a nice experience. But towards the end, we actually had to use our knives and forks to eat the burger. Because uh, at this point, no. <laughs> we could not keep on eating like that with our hands because it was actually annoying. <laughs> just feeling the stickiness on your hands. But... The test and everything else was nice. The juice was good. Look at Bazoo finishing his last bite. Hmm, this boy has some really nice table etiquette. Just mentioning. I'm not bragging. I'm just mentioning, yeah? <laughs> so he was having his last bite. I Amy, mean, I was so full at this point. I just wanted to get a bed and sleep. <laughs> you can see all that food that we ordered was almost finished. Don't even be full. I even finished that one. And then here we were done eating. So we're just chilling waiting for the food to digest before setting out because you can't just eat and start walking outside on a full stomach. It was a pretty nice experience and we loved everything about it. So if you're looking for a place to treat yourself, retreat your family or friend, your lover, then this is the one place that you need to add to your bucket list if you're a lover of good food. This, this food was good. And uh, thinking of how I discovered this place, I think good food just calls me by name. Hmm? Anywhere that there's good food, that place is where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> just for jokes. So kindly you subscribe if you haven't. Like the video and share the link with your friends. We took away some takeaways for Killian and the nanny to also enjoy. And uh, went to the supermarket, bought some few things like yogurt for Killian and then headed home. So that is all for today, guys. Kindly subscribe if you haven't. Share the link. Uh, leave us a comment in the comment section. And we'll catch you again in the next video. Road to 1K. Bye.